Class is in session. All right, now that that's out of the way, the fake glasses can go. So you're watching this video because you don't understand Facebook. It's okay. I know you log in daily, you check your notifications, and you know how to send a message. That's all great. But what about when you're ready to use it for your business? So step one, make a business page. I'm going to pause and let you do that. Okay, done? Great. Now, there's a lot of detail we can go into, but before we can, we need to go over the basics of how Facebook works. There are 1.5 billion users on Facebook any given month, and daily, 965 million people log in. So if you're not marketing on Facebook, you're not doing it right. So, what do you need to understand? What are the basics? There's a lot of content we could cover. Good news for you, I'm going to break it down in less than five minutes on everything you need to know. The first thing you need to understand is edge rank. What is edge rank? So edge rank is a number that is based on affinity times weight times decay. Stop. I know, it seems like a lot. Let's break it down. The first variable is affinity. In layman terms, that means has the person previously liked or engaged with content that you're putting out. Second is weight. Is the content being liked or shared or commented on by other users? This is why you see baby pictures and weddings, because they already hold a lot of weight. So Facebook assumes, hey, if Joe, Bob, and Sarah like this, if we show it to this person, they'll like it too. Last is decay. It's the amount of time content has been up on the site. Nobody likes old news. So the longer something's been up, the less it holds in the decay variable. So in short, you want to have a really high edge rank score. But how? This is where a Facebook page comes in. On a Facebook page, you're given access to certain insights. And one of the most basic insights, if you click around through the settings, you can find when all of your users are online. Now, you want to have a post with high weight, which means you need to get those likes, comments, and shares. This can be accomplished in one of two ways. One, really good content. The better your content, the more likely people are to like, comment, and share. The other is sort of cheating, but I do it all the time. It's called gamification. Nobody likes doing nothing for nothing, but they'll do something for something. So if you add a game into your post, such as like this for a chance to win, or share this and you're entered into a drawing, more people are likely to engage. People are also sort of basic. If you tell them what to do, they're more likely to do it. Or if you ask a question, they'll answer. Always stick to things like how was or why is. It promotes a more thoughtful response. And last but not least, the variable you can't cheat is affinity. You need to build trust in your brand and so the people that like your page will continue to come back for tips, tricks, and they want to visit. They want to know more. The last tip I have for you doesn't really fit into the edge rank equation, but it's about having a heart. People come to Facebook to see faces. They come to see their friends and family. So don't try to sell on Facebook. Try to establish a community. Try to establish posts that make people laugh, that make them smile. Try to incite confidence. Try to incite fear. Try to make them feel something. The more somebody feels, the more likely they are to engage with content. So that's the basic of edge rank. Now, take what you've learned and use it to create more poignant posts. Good luck.